Welcome to Skegness Raceway in Lincolnshire for another day of high-octane Brisker Formula One stock car racing. It's the second day of a weekender here on the Lincolnshire coast. Last night we saw the British Drivers' Championship for 2021, which was won in a dominant drive by number 197, Ryan Harrison. Today the drivers contest the Andrew Batty Memorial Trophy in memory of a long-time Brisker F1 fan from Sheffield who sadly lost his battle with cancer a couple of years ago. Plenty of drivers eager to win a very prestigious trophy in memory of a beloved fan of the sport who is still very much missed. Looking at the lineup for today's events, three heats for the Brisker F1s in the first part of our programme. And in the second part, we have the consolation race for the non qualifiers. The Andrew Batty Memorial final is the main event, and then the Orkhamers Grand National comes up at the end of this six race programme for the Brisker F1s here today. Getting lined up and ready then for heats number one. The cars lining up in their grades white, yellow, blue, red, and superstar as always. Paul Harrison, the former world champion out there. Bobby Griffin in car 166. Got the Waynemans out there. We ride on board with Lee Fairhurst in 217, the holder of the Rainbow Roof. He starts alongside Dan Johnson in number four. Fine lineup of cars out there. We've got 20 cars for this first race of the day over 16 laps. Heat number one here at Skegness is underway. Number 19, John Horn, will lead the cars away from pole position. Watch those front bumpers flying in in the early stages they make their way around this thankfully dry tarmac oval Quite plenty of action here at Skegness one car slowing up already Aaron Leach in the number 70 has come to a halt from the yellow grade there's Bradley Harrison number 25 the son of Paul but it's number 19 John Horn who has the early lead ahead of his fellow white grade there's a tangle further back there 128 Simon Binder is one of those cars that's uh, gone off there the yellow's coming out because of that stranded car of Aaron Leach and work out who the other car is that's gone off there. It's one of the white tops. Let's see there they go. I think it might be uh, Kieran Bedford, number 593. It's Aaron Leach just slowed up on the outside and uh, pulled up against the barrier. The blue graders already getting the bumper in behind. Uh, Joe Nichols and Charlie Sorder involved there. And Lee is another car that's uh, pulled off there in 339, I can see on the infield. So we've lost uh, the man who took a heat win in the British Championship qualifiers last night. Front of the pack is John Horn in the number 19 car. Kieran Bedford, 593 second. Mark Sargent on his local circuit, number 326 in third. He never has much luck here, so aiming for a change of fortune. We'll see his son Finn racing today as well. Back underway with Brisker F1 Heat 1 here at Skegness Raceway. There's the uh, superstar Red Raiders battling it out further back. And Johnson, number four, under fire from Lee Fairhurst in 217. Mark Sargent under attack and he's been spun aside by Jake Harry. They have managed to recover. Sargent gets it going again. He just cannot seem to win races on his local uh, venue. The East Coast legend, as he's known. Lee Fairhurst now attacking. Oh, we've got a spun car in the middle of the pack there. I think that's Liam Gilbank in the number 20 that's gone, the green car. So a frantic start, typically frantic start to the action here at Skegness Raceway from the Brisker F1s, powered by those rumbling... Chevrolet V8 engines, Gilbank still stuck there, so we may have uh, another yellow flag here. The marshal signalling that all is not well, and the yellows will come out again for Liam Gilbank to allow the marshals to recover his car. We'll see what happens to him. He tried an attack on Bradley Harrison, I think, there. Got caught up with Jake Harry, got clipped as well by Dan Johnson. Couldn't get the engine restarted. And the pack had to be brought to a halt again. We see in the background there, yes, so Bradley Harrison under fire from Gilbank, who spun himself out with that attack. Harrison running over Jake Harry, and that's what happened. John Horn still in the lead. It's Ricky Wilson, number 502, up into uh, second place. Then we've got the 120 of Casey Engelston. The first blue tops are next in the order. Charlie Sorder going well in the number five. Joe Nichols ahead of him in 242. Reds and superstars, the higher grade drivers, the quicker drivers from previous meetings, yet to make their move. One out front, just one win in his Brisker F1 career so far. That was a Buxton, if I remember rightly, last year. Harrison attacking Charlie Sorder, puts him into the back of Joe Nichols. It's the battle for uh, third place. Casey Engelson having dropped back slightly in the 120. We go on board with Lee Fairhurst. There's Engelson in front of us in the 120, the uh, first line green car into the back of Joe Nichols, runs them out wide. Attacked a whole line of cars there, that's how you do it. And he moves through on the inside. Now attacking Charlie Sword in the number five. He's got to hit himself there, 
I think Lee Fairhurst to move wide and that orange paint means it's Dan Johnson moving through. Good battles in the midfield here. It's still Horn that leads. Paul Harrison now through into second place. Caught up with Ricky Wilson coming through as well. He's Charlie Sorda. His dad Mick, a former European champion, former F2 world champion. John Horn with a clear lead. Here comes Paul Harrison, 2011 world champion at uh, Northampton. It's a great privilege to be uh, on the microphone at that event uh, back in 2011, ten years ago now. As Paul took his world championship to match his famous father, Willie's victory in the event at Bellevue in 1982. Bobby Griffin under fire from Bradley Harrison, son of Paul. Four generations of the Harrison family have raced. Wilf Harrison, father of uh, Willie, raced back in the 50s. Joe Nichols has been picked up and almost spun there. They're bumping and boring away in the minor places. But meanwhile, Paul Harrison has caught our race leader. He's going through down the back straight. Paul Harrison takes John Horn for the lead. Can Horn hang on for a top five or top ten finish here? Still second. Third is Sorda. Then it's Dan Johnson. Then Lee Fairhurst. Then a gap back to Bobby Griffin heading this next group. Bradley Harrison's in there. 5 5 5. Frankie Wayman Jr. Jr. Little Ted Wayman, as his family call him, is in there as well. We call him Frankie JJ. Lee Fairhurst closing on Dan Johnson in the orange number four machine. In the battle further back, Mark Sargent and Austin Moore, number 127. Austin Powers, as we call him. And Mark Sargent has got caught up there with Kieran Bedford. We said he had no luck here. And puts Mark Sargent onto the infield. Readers coming round to lap them, and uh, John Horn, I think, has got back through. Indeed, he has. Oh, but he hits the back marker and spins himself out. Why did he go for Kieran Bedford there? He's got the lead back off for uh, Paul Harrison. He spins himself out immediately afterwards. Disaster for John Horn. He could have hung on to win this one because there's only a couple of laps to go. So it's Paul Harrison from Lee Fairhurst now. Dan Johnson and Charlie Sorder in behind him. Still a battle for second, but it's going to be a win for Paul Harrison. He's on the last lap now in uh, car number two. Who's going to be second? Will it be Fairhurst, Johnson or Sorda? They're coming into the final turn. Fairhurst off the kerb. Johnson's going to go for the inside. Paul Harrison comes through to take the flag. It's side by side for second. A photo finish. I think Johnson may have just got there on the line. Charlie Sorda takes fourth. We'll confirm the rest of the results at the moment. You have to feel for John Horn there. He got back ahead of uh, Paul Harrison and then uh, went to attack a back marker and spun himself out. He didn't need to attack Kieran Bedford there in 5-9-3 and uh, does himself out of a race win as a result. That's a shame. But Paul Harrison it is who takes the win in uh, car number two. Over a second clear of the battle for second. It was uh, side by side between uh, Dan Johnson and Lee Fairhurst on the line. Johnson just got there ahead of Charlie Sorda. Bradley Harrison further back in fifth ahead of Bobby Griffin topping that battle. And Joe Nichols, John Horn, Jake Harry and Austin Moore round out the ten. Heat one winner, number two, Paul Harrison. Certainly not lost your touch. No, we're still there. That was one for the old boys, that. Yeah, yeah proper enjoyed it. You've had some pace last night as well. You're going well and enjoying the racing by the looks of it. That's right. Yeah, we've not raced for a while. Obviously, we're out. We didn't race at all last season, and somewhere near the end of 2019, I was quick, but just having trouble with the car, just breakdown issues, and um, and we came last night, hoping for the best. And uh, it was quick, proper all night. I just a little bit disappointed in a couple of the restarts in the final. Finished further down than I would have liked, but yeah, the car had pace. It was good, and same again today. And of course, you're picking up some crucial world qualifying points. Yeah, because as I said, end of 2019 we didn't do much, so I don't think I'd got any points on the board uh, for the world qualifiers. So I really needed that, and I could do the same in the final and the national. To be fair. Well, go out and get stuck in, see what happens. Yeah, that's it. Cheers. Heat two on track. Then names to look out for in this one include uh, Frankie Wayman Jr. in 515, Danny Wayman in 212. The new British Drivers Champion is out there in this one. 197 flying Ryan Harrison. He certainly was flying last night, leading all the way in the British Championship to win by a clear margin. Also out there is Jacqueline Ellis, 219, one of the leading ladies of Brisker F1. 492 Ashley Wareham as well. A number of uh, female drivers here. I think we've got five in total racing across this weekend. Tyron Evans at the front of the uh, yellow tops in 381. Number 11, Neil Scriven there. There's Jacqueline Ellis at the front of the uh, Blues in one of Lee Fairhurst's cars. On the front of the grid, there is Anna Chappell driving the 307 in memory of Tim Warwick, who was sadly lost to us in a tragic accident just before the season started. She leads us off then 
into heat number two over 16 laps. Already bumpers going in among the yellow graders there. We ride on board with Jack Ryan in the 595 car. He's gone through in a second because Hannah Chappell has lost the lead. It's 24 Mark Adkins that has taken over. Richard Bryan hits the wall there in 238. 518 so moving through the leading Scotsman in Bristol F1. That's Stuart Sheville, ex saloon stock car star. He's in problems there, he's onto the centre, but what happened there? 175, Carl Hawkins under fire from Will Hunter in car number 220. Getting frantic in the midfield here. Trying to move through on the inside is Craig Utley in 484. Behind them is Ryan Harrison, the new British Drivers' Champion. Hasn't yet got the black and white chequered roof painted onto his car. Completely dominated the British Championship uh, last night. Took the lead after half a lap and then just cleared off, as he's trying to do here, but he's under fire from... Uh, Frankie Wayman Jr. in 5-1-5. Jr. gets through on the inside. Craig Utley behind them. Then it's Danny Wayman in 2-1-2. He had a heat win last night. Heat won for the British Championship won by Danny in the uh, race dedicated to dual surface cars, cars that are raced on both tarmac and shale. 178 there a bit further back. That's Richard Burt making the move up from V8 Hot Stocks this season. On board with Jack Ryan in the 5-9-5 cup. Facing now Mark Atkins, number 24, your leader. In second is Tyron Evans. He and his twin brother, Lewis, came into Brisker F1 in the shortened season last year at 16 years of age and were blowing everybody away on tarmac. They won everything between them, I think, in national mini stocks over their careers in the junior formula. He gets through there, Tyron Evans into the lead on turn four. Here's the battle between Wayman and Harrison further back. Ryan Harrison, no relation, incidentally, to uh, Paul and Bradley Harrison, who we saw in heat one. Dad Murray, a former world champion. There's Jacqueline Ellis putting it out in the midfield in 219. To see her back racing this year. Into the second half of heat number two for the Brisker F1 stock cars here at Skegness. Tyrone Evans, number 381, leads the way. Now coming through into a second is 526. That's Finn Sargent, the son of Mark, who we saw in uh, race one. East Coast legend junior looking to succeed where his father trouble in heat one. Here comes Ryan Harrison onto the back of Jack Ryan now in the 595. I think that's a Wayman Hire car that uh, he's driving. The colours of FWJ Racing. There is FWJ in 515. He's not going to wallop his own car there, I don't think. It's through on the inside. 312 of John Thompson ahead of this group. He's running well. It's Tyron Evans still with the lead in car 381. Jack Ryan still struggling on. He's hit the wall a couple of times. Harrison with the bumper on Thompson sends him out wide. Now closing on Mark Adkins. He's had a good run in the 24 car here. Looking good for Tyron Evans out in front, but Finn Sargent is reeling him in. Here comes the 5-2-6. Ready to make a move there. Evans a bit sideways down the home straight, and Finn with an attack there into turn one. Gets the bumper in, and he's going through. East Coast legend Junior takes the lead on his home track. Finn Sargent in 5-2-6. Star in National Mini Stocks, used to race a Mini Countryman Estate in the National Mini Stocks, believe it or not. Ryan Harrison now up into third place by the look of things. Can they catch earlier leader Tyrone Evans? Wayman is next, then Danny Wayman, I think, is behind in the 2 1 2 car. Yes, there he is. We're on the last lap of the race now, though, it's going to be a win for Finn Sargent in car number 526. Finally, the Sargent family have some success on their home. Skegness track. Well done, Finn Sargent takes the win in heat number two. Second place will go to uh, Tyron Evans ahead of Ryan Harrison. Then Junior Wayman in fourth. We'll confirm the full results in a moment. But well done, Finn Sargent. A well deserved win for the young blue grader there. Very big following for the Sargent family here at Skegness. Great entertainers. Sergeant who does uh, take the win ahead of Tyron Evans by a couple of seconds there. Third for Ryan Harrison ahead of Frankie and Danny Wayman. John Thompson in sixth place. Then early leader Mark Adkins seventh. Carl Hawkins takes eighth in 175. And Jack Ryan and Jacqueline Ellis rounding out the top ten. Eight two in a five two six Finn Sargent. You're showing some pace out there today. I think I had a bit of a lucky break really. I mean the car had been really really good all through yesterday and just never got the start. And after being told a few times after the meeting you need it. They'd pull your finger out a little bit. I thought I'd have a go at doing it, and then it yeah, seemed to pay off a little bit. And you've got the car looking nice, it's going well and picking up points. 
Yeah, the car looks really pretty to be fair, but thanks to Steve painting it, I don't know whether you'll see this or not, but he'd made a, he painted a really nice car and it goes around quite well, so I'm fairly happy with it. And now all you've got to do is give your old man a couple of tips and he might be able to join you on the top step. I've tried that for about five years now, <laughs> nothing's sinking in, I think he's a bit past that. Well, we can get away with that because he's nowhere near. <laughs> <laughs> I'd tell him anyway, it doesn't matter, he knows what I think. <laughs> well, best of luck for the final. Thank you very much. Heat number three on track then, the uh, last heats of uh, first-time drivers today, if you like. We're on board with Kelvin Hassel in the number 13 car, one of Matt Newsom's higher cars. The world champion is out in this race, number one, Tom Harris. No longer British champion, lost that title to Ryan Harrison last night. He had a bit of a problematic meeting last night, uh, Tom, the hitman Harris. His sister Catherine, number eight, is also on the grid for this one. Also, we've got Luke Davidson, a Skegness track specialist in car number 464. Chris Cowley, number 73. Those are just some of the names to watch. It's 316 of Harry Goodick and 47 Simon Trades. Both of them circuit racers who lead the field away. Already a tangle further back. Uh, 422 Ben Riley was one of the cars involved there. I think the other one was Jeff Nichols in 215. Uncle of uh, Joe Nichols, who we saw out in the heat one. Paul Hines in 259 under fire there. And there's Matt Newson at the back of the field in uh, car number 16. Davidson under fire from Chris Cowley in 73, goes three wide with Paul Hines, Tom Harris in this group as well, the early leader is Harry Gooding under fire from Simon Traves, Harry Gooding and it's Fiesta Junior star on the circuit, Simon Traves driving for Assetto Motorsport in Ginetta sports cars, he takes the lead away through turn four, he had a couple of wins, actually qualified on pole for the British Championship last night, didn't last too long at the front of the field though with the usual push on the first turn, of these drivers believe it's uh, for a championship race it's best not to qualify on the first couple of rows you just get stuffed into the fence on the first turn best to qualify third or fourth row which is what Ryan Harrison did Tom Harris moving past Matt Newson there Chris Cowley taking his dad Rob's number for this season 73 Chris used to be 37 with Rob having uh, now retired at the end of his very long career in Brisker F1 he's taking his number Hassel under fire there, that was the 48 of Sean Webster, the former Saloon Stocks world champion, moving through. Melvin, who's raced on the Ovals in America in uh, Legends cars as well. His father, Alan, a long-time circuit racer and car preparer, competes in a Lotus Cortina these days, does Alan. Maybe we'll see Kelvin racing that something. One five there, Russell Cooper, come under fire shortly from the number one of Tom Harris. There's Catherine Harris. Great to see her in the F1s this year. Successful in the V8 hot stocks over the last couple of years. I remember seeing Catherine make her national mini stocks debut at Birmingham several years ago. She was just 10 years old at the time. And now a Brisker F1 driver. 546 of Jay Hewitt goes a lap down. Simon Trave still leading. He's not going to be down at White Gray for much longer. A very quick, very impressive drive. Tom Harris attacking the 43. That is Adam Bamford. Paul Hines gets past Catherine Harris. 259 Paul Hines teamed up with Mark Sargent on commentary for the Brisker F1 E Series during uh, the lockdowns last year. Maybe they'll join me on commentary on this footage someday. Who knows? 13 of Kelvin Hassel, the next target for Tom Harris. Busy battling among his fellow Reds and superstars in the early stages, not catching our leader here with Hassel, I think Paul Hines has hit uh, problems there, he seems to be slowing down the home straight. Jeff Nichols ahead of us in 2-1-5, Tom Harris behind us in number one. On his way through the order, I don't think he's going to catch our pace setters here. Now is Catherine going to finish ahead of Tom, the sibling rivalry? There's Paul Hines, he's got a puncture, the uh, 259 car, trying to keep going to the finish. Simon Traves looking good for victory here. There you can see that uh, burst tyre on the 259. He's going to be uh, pushed aside there by Catherine Harris. And onto the centre goes Paul Hines. We mentioned sibling rivalry. In goes the bumper from Tom on the back of Catherine's car. Mark Wareham, number 401, in behind them. And he fires Catherine wide now. Great stuff in the midfield. They're pinballing off each other. But Simon Traves is into his last lap now. He's going to take uh, another win. A couple of wins last night in the heats for the British Championship. It's going to be another win here for the 47 car. The Ginetta circuit racer comes in to win on an oval once again. Simon Traves takes it. Well clear of his opposition. It's 
Lewis Evans in second place. We hardly even saw him. We were so busy concentrating on the midfield battle there. It's Lewis Evans, number 392, twin brother of uh, Tyron, who takes second. Confirm the rest of the results in a moment. Checking the red flags go out on heat number three for the Brisker F1 stock cars and more dominance from Simon Traves. They can't catch him this weekend. Traves taking the win by over two seconds ahead of Lewis Evans there. Shaw Webster in third, ahead of early leader Harry Gooding. Tom Harris took fifth, sister Catherine seventh. They were split by Mark Wareham, then Luke Davidson, Kelvin Hassel and Adam Bamford rounding out the top ten, number three. Heat three winner, 47 Simon Traves. We're here again. It's turning out to be a good weekend for you. Yes, Gagnes has been a good weekend for once. How did you uh, feel last night in the British on pole, of course? That must have got some nerves going. Yeah, to be honest, I wasn't really nervous, just wanted to get the race going and was keen to get a good start, which um, initially got a good start, but uh, just got a bit of push in the first corner, which dropped me back to third, I think, on the restart. Um, and on the restart, there's a Evans jumped the restart, which put me on the outside, and then that was that, really. Stuck on the outside of a train of cars and that sort of ended the race for me. It's all good experience. I mean, you're making the most of the white grade, but you're not staying there for very long. No, exactly, and I think in the final yesterday, um, it was good to be be up there with the, the the Reds and the Superstars, and you know, it's, it's not they're not to be afraid of. We just got to get stuck in and get, and get going. Hopefully, we'll be up to Red for the next grading period. Well, win the final, that'll certainly help. Yeah, I think um, I think winning the final will probably put me up to Yellow for Ipswich, and then the grading periods after that. So we'll see where we end up. Well, best of luck, we'll be watching. Thank you very much. Simon Traves, certainly a name to watch in Brisker F1 this year, I reckon. That's the heats out of the way then. We've still got the Constellation, the Andrew Batty Memorial Race and the Grand National to come up here at uh, Skegness Raceway. That's all coming in the second part of our programme. For now, we'll take a break. See you in a few minutes.